Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. I know I need a haircut. It's Friday. I've been trying to make time to get out and get my haircut, but these are one of those trivial things that I don't really make specific time for. So uh, hopefully I get out there today. Anyways, like the post said, what's value? Uh, the big thing is, is I see a lot of people post the same thing over and over. I'm a loan officer that believes in the abundance mentality, which means that if I know something that could potentially help you, I'm going to share it with you. Reason being is most of you won't implement it anyways, which is fine by me because that keeps me ahead of the pack. But I like to run with leaders and leaders do things like share thoughts and ideas. Now, what triggered this is I saw in another group a post by somebody that said, hey, I can do conventional financing down to this score. That's great. That's not value. The fact that you can offer a program that some people can't, that's not really a valuable thing because now what you become is the dumpster for everybody that can't do a certain deal. Now, value is doing something like, hey, I have processors that can turn files in 24 hours or hey, if there's an issue, I will resolve it. I'll, I'll fall on the sword, whatever the case may be. I'm available to send a pre-approval letter on the weekend. Uh, I am available to come out and teach classes to your agents. This way they're ahead of the game on some of the social media marketing things that we do. Those are value things. And realistically, when you bring actual value to the table, that's when a relationship starts. Let's face it, the agents that I work with, they're not just agents. They're my friends. They're people that I can text message, laugh about, send a message, something funny to on the weekends, whatever it may be. They know that if something comes up, I am going to hit it head on, whether it's my fault, underwriting's fault, their fault, or the client's fault. We're going to hit it head on. We're going to be very transparent with it. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to go ahead and resolve the issue. That's value. Me being able to do a VA loan down to a certain score, that's a product thing. But what happens if you switch companies and you're not able to do that anymore? Do you then lose that relationship and everything that you've built goes down the drain? The answer to that is yes. So provide value. Be the person that they can talk to. Be the person that when you call the client, you follow up, you make the phone calls, you call the seller's agent, you call the buyer's agent, you say the appraisal's in, it came in at this value. Be that agent. If not, you're not doing anything. If the company you're with shuts down today, you no longer have the value that you thought was actual value that wasn't. We all have a person that we know that we can send our deals to if they don't work out internally. Agents know the same thing. So guys, Girls, your next post, let's not make it about the 560 credit score, 100% finance, no W-2, stated income, stated assets. Let's make it about what you can do and how you benefit yourself, the agent, and the client. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I hope you have a great week. Don't forget, Friday is still part of your work week. So is Saturday and Sunday. Now, I don't expect you to spend all that time working, obviously. Go enjoy some time with the family. But don't forget, today is just as important as the rest of the days of the week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.